so um, <laughs> thanks, Tim, and thanks, Rachel. That was a great presentation. It's superb to have you here. So um, first thing is master the technology. What I'm going to talk to you about today is um, how we've been um, using our research um, on health and sustainability to embed sustainability in the nursing curriculum. So um, in, in healthcare and in nursing in particular, in particular, we use an awful lot of stuff and a lot of this stuff is made from um, natural resources uh, such as um, oil-based resources, um, made, you know, plastic, plastic equipment, things like cotton. So audience participation in my five minutes. How many litres of water does it take to grow enough cotton to produce a pair of jeans? 6,800, a lot. Very vulnerable plant in terms of climate change. All of this stuff that we use has to be disposed of, and a lot of it ends up in these yellow clinical waste bags, which is, uh, it costs a lot of money to dispose of them, and it's also costly to the environment um, because of the incineration. The same is true when we're teaching clinical skills. So next, next year we're going to have 600 nurses joining us. They'll all need to learn how to do these procedures and, and clinical skills. And in the clinical skills lab, they have to simulate what, hap what actually happens in clinical practice. So they're using um, the same stuff they use in practice and they're disposing of it. What we've been doing is looking at research around some of the items we use in everyday practice the potential impact on healthcare of those items should they no longer be available. We've also been looking at how in health and social care we dispose of waste and how many items end up in the yellow bags when they could potentially be reused, recycled or go in landfill which is less costly. What we've done is created scenarios um, where we, in skill sessions, we encourage the students to think about these resources and to think about the degree of impact on, uh, on healthcare should these no longer be available. And they have, at the moment, it's a tape measure, um, and they have a high impact on care, a low impact on care, and they place the items on, on the line accordingly. And this is how it looks. And the idea is that there's no right and wrong um, uh, to this session. It's about facilitating discussion. Um, and what we find is that there's a lot of discussion around how often these items are used and the potential overuse of items such as gloves, aprons, um, things that perhaps um, because of infection control procedures we automatically use without really thinking about are they really necessary. Um, at the end of this session when they've, they've put all their items on the tape measure, they're then asked to uh, dispose of the items in either the domestic waste bag or the yellow bag or think about an alternative way of using the item. Could they reuse it? Could they recycle it? Has it actually been infected? And in order to do this, they're given a, a little brief scenario which tells them what's actually happened to the item and then they make the decision. We've evaluated these sessions and they, eva they evaluate really well and at the start of the sessions the, the students come in and they think health and sustainability skills, what's this got to do with nursing? They have very low awareness about where the stuff that they use every day comes from, how it's made um, and, and really what, what alternatives could be used uh, for, for these different products. At the end of the session their awareness has increased, their knowledge around um, sustainable waste management has increased significantly um, and they really enjoy the session. Uh, they, they become very engaged and they also talk about how it relates to their practice and how they can then go back as champions and challenge um, people in the clinical area. Um, we've involved design students in this work, um, so they come to the sessions, they look at what we're doing and they're challenged to come up with design solutions. One of our students, one of the design students, Matt, is helping us, and there's my lovely colleague Jane, um, to develop an iPad version of our sustainability skills sessions which you'll be able to see on our stand outside. And this is a prototype we've tested with students and it seems to work very well. 
Uh, some of this research we're channeling through um, with colleagues in Europe. We've got the NURSAS project, which is about developing a sustainability literacy and um, competency framework. And to do this, we're working with colleagues in Maastricht in the Netherlands, in Haiyan in, in Andalusia, and in Esslingen in Germany. And we are social media babes, so you can follow what we're doing on the hashtag SSHR, which is the research group, and SSHR... Uh, Hashtag nurse us for the uh, nurses project and that's my five minutes. Thank you.